Yes, welcome back everybody, welcome back, and after that nice little hiatus, we are here with something a little bit lower key, ostensibly at least. Alpha Protocol, as I mentioned during the warm-up, it's a 2010 title by Obsidian. Quality makers of some of the best jank RPGs you're going to find in this country. Now, this game is... I have a weird bit of fondness for it, because it does have some significant issues with the way it plays, and the way it's structured, and is not necessarily what I would call well-balanced. You will see as we go, there are ways to basically break it in half depending on your build. It, it, it's, it's a very uneven product in a gameplay sense, but it has weirdly high production values, the overall story is actually really interesting and well-presented, and there are fun things to be- there is fun to be had in the actual gameplay itself. But yes, this is a spy RPG set in... I think it's... I mean, it, it came out in 2010, and I think it's basically set in that broad period of still solidly within the War on Terror, but not not in any uh, specific context. Anyway, it is, as mentioned, very easy to break in half, so we're going to set it on hard. Now... Most of the ways you diversify your build are in combat abilities. This is ultimately a fairly linear game, but it is, it, you do basically select the dip, you select mission hubs and then you proceed along a set of missions within that, within that country, but the missions themselves are fairly linear and very combat oriented. But there is a lot of dialogue, just none of your skills actually affect the dialogue. So the three different domains, soldier, fields, or the uh, three starter builds, Soldier, Field Agent, Tech Specialist. That's, you know, weapons combat, stealth, and technical stuff. It's a little more varied than that. Freelancer lets you up, um, apply points, uh, starting points yourself. But there are some interesting variations in them. These categories also get unique dialogue in certain situations that can lead them bypassing puzzles that aren't available with a custom build. There's also this, which is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't you love that? Just, you know, baseball cap on backwards, holding his dual Uzis, just... Like I said, this game tries to be a grounded spy... Sim uh, a game about grounded spy intrigue, but as you as you see us... As you see me play, you're, you're going to find out that it's very over the top in terms of the... In, in terms of gameplay. It's basically a mix of James Bond, Jack Bauer, and... Uh, James Bourne. Or Jason Bourne, I'm sorry. But anyway, yes, one interesting little wrinkle. Recruit, as you start with no starting specialties whatsoever. And there are actually unique dialogues that reflect this. You're basically an analyst for the... Yeah, you're an analyst for the Department of Justice. Recruited in, as kind of a whim into this top-secret spy agency. But if you beat that, that unlocks a veteran. And that has... Um, basic, that basically gives you a high starting score in every skill. But anyway, we'll go with Tech Specialist, because that does have a unique option I want to highlight much later on in the game. But in this one, your specialties are shotguns, sabotage, which is your uh, technical gadgets ranging from grenades, explosives, stun traps, and such, and technical aptitude. So... You know, this will not be a terribly stealthy build, although it is a good idea to stay hidden for the, for most of the early game. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's... I, I, you know, 2010 was right around when they were working on Fallout New Vegas. I think I actually... God, we were, we were still... Zero, you and I, we were still uh, working for Random NPC at the time. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what? We will... We will get to show off uh, dualies at some point, but I do have softbot for shotguns. In fact, let's move around a little bit. You can reassign stuff. In fact, we are going to do that. So, technical aptitude. Let's pull that down. Ah, it's fine for now. Anyway, yeah, we will we will proceed with this build. We'll level up pistols along as we go. Sort of mix that up with shotguns as well. Anyway, let us begin. Ah, Sega, has it been so long? A whole one game since I've last seen your logo. Oh, perfect timing, guys. Thank you. 
Aw, I appreciate that. Thanks. We will need that. Pay attention to that logo. You're going to be seeing a lot of it. Oh, look at that cutscene frame rate. I think that's, I think that's just hitting double digits there. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. You ever had those really awful flights where that person in the seat next to you just wouldn't shut up and you kind of wish it would just end already? Wish granted. Yeah. You will be able to tell the difference between pre-rendered footage and the things they're doing in-engine. <laughs> yeah, quite. God, just one look at this guy and you can tell he's a complete asshole. Like, who wears a yellow shirt and tie with that jacket? Oh, shit. Alpha protocol began here, after all. I gotta turn on subtitles. <laughs> you know, he does kind of have that look to him. Alright, so this is our protagonist, Mike Thornton. And what we know right now is very limited. He's waking up in a hospital or in some like sort of medical room. Free train. <laughs> yeah, it has that bit of feel to it too. And Mass Effect 2 would have been... Uh, uh, it was 2010, I think? Yep. Alright, getting some tutorial stuff. Oh god, look at this! Look at this quality transition between walking animations. Like, the actual movement is fine, but just the way he turns around. Like I said, you need to prepare yourself with, for some jank. I, this is a very special game for several reasons. Good. You're awake. I wasn't sure how long you'd be under. Those Oops. tranquilizers wore off fast. Uh, we have timed dialogue options here. Where am I? You're locked in our medical bay. And when the guards find out you've regained consciousness, they'll put you under again. Don't want that. Any reason why you're helping me? Mina. Let's just say I'm not a fan of the indoctrination <laughs> Let's procedure Let's not here. tempt fate, I have more reason to leave, then. And how do you propose to do that? You're locked in. There's a guard outside. Eventually, he's going to come check on you. And when he does... Can you distract the guard? Unlock the door. I could... A glitch in the security panel in the hall outside might do it. As long as you don't make too much noise when you leave, you might take him by surprise while he's checking it. Disabling the security system now. So yeah, we are very definitely, we are very deliberately kept in the dark. All we know right now is when we're some sort of super secret compound. Let me see if there is subtitle options. All right. The door Better. should be unlocked. All right. Does it? I believe we'll have a guard coming in. Oh wait, no, he's right at the hall outside. There he is. Very convenient for that. There he is. Standard procedure of having security camera broadcast into the medical room. But anyway, yes. We are in proper gameplay now. Third person action with a significant stealth focus. Although it is viable to go loudly. <laughs> yeah, Mike is special when it comes to stealth. And your enemies are simultaneously, they can... Right, hang on a sec, I gotta update... Uh... I have to fiddle with uh, mouse acceleration. Here we go. Or sensitivity. 
There we go. All right. Anyway, yeah, enemies are... They can perceive weird... For fuck's sake, somebody get me another angle on Thornton, now! Uh-oh. You need to shut off the alarm. The panel's on the wall. Right, we're in Go tutorial mode. Alright. Y'all love minigames? Because boy do we have the minigames. So yeah, some electrical panels get disabled like so. You have to clip the circuits in a numbered order. They do a reasonable job explaining them. It just takes a little bit of getting used to. A lot of them have that kind of magic eye quality, where if you can kind of unfocus your eyes and follow the relevant lines, you can more easily, uh... You can more easily see what you, you need, need to do. To shut off the alarm. All right. The panel's on the wall. All right. Do a bypass on it. One, two, three, four. Mike, careful. Easy peasy. They probably have a guard in the lobby. All right. I like that they had a camera right on me and didn't think to come in the room. And, you know, we will see exactly why this is the case, but... This is all set up like a tutorial zone for a very specific reason. Haha, <laughs> yes. Oh, that is just one hacking minigame. We have... We have such sights to show you. Alright. Easy does it. Just take out this man in black. It's alright, just chopping him right on the neck. It's non-lethal, the game said so. Alright. We got us a tranquilizer pistol. Okay, easy does it. <laughs> oh, just wait. Now, the aiming in this is very weird depending on the weapon. Pistols and assault rifles let you focus and take precision shots. Shotguns and SMGs do not. So, they feel very differently from one another. And there's these special skills reflect that. Alright, here's another guy. Somehow that qualifies as a stealth maneuver. All right, now I believe there's a camera down here. Watch out for cameras. Yep. If they spot you or you destroy them, they'll sound an alarm. All right, there you are. Nice of it to have a visible cone of uh, <laughs> have a visible cone of visibility. There we go. Uh, I'm off to a great start tonight. All right, these thankfully we don't need to be quiet around. One thing you'll notice is... Let's see, can I take this guy out here? One thing you'll notice is that because this game has loading zones and doors that lock behind you, it won't necessarily spawn everybody you're going to interact with in the map when it loads. It basically loads the maps in chunks, and the guys you're going to fight aren't all... They, they don't all appear at once. You can, temp you can like, set off the alarm in one section of the map, proceed through with the alarm still going, and then when the guys spawn in, they won't necessarily be reacting to that alarm, even though it's ongoing. There will be, as mentioned, a lot of special ways we can exploit the AI. Interestingly, I don't think I've ever actually had a hard crash with this game. Most of its weirdness comes from the odd ways in which the odd behaviors of the AI and occasional hang-ups with levels, but the overall game itself is fairly stable. Almost gave me the slip. Now we got you. All right. So now we get a lockpicking tutorial. And this will look familiar. So yeah, it's just lining the uh, yeah, it's just lining the tumblers up so you can pick them. Easy does it. Ah. Actually, pretty. That actually isn't too bad with a mouse, specifically with a trackball. It's nice having precision on that. All right. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's there were two variations of the hacking minigame around that time. There's fiddle with the tumblers, and then there's turning the lock left to right, like in Fallout. Or, you know, Fallout 3 in New Vegas. Of our new no sign of him yet. Stealth maneuver. Truck coming in. And guards at the exit. Try to stay out of sight if you can. Yeah, you, you will see as part of the quiet takedowns, you are just making a ton of noise, but the enemy does not hear you. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's great, isn't it? Alright, so we need to get across. Now we can actually start using skills. So, awareness gives us this kind of see-through walls thing to let us know where enemies are and where they're facing. Yeah, the animation on this is just glorious. Like, the actual animation for those takedowns is pretty good. It's just... They are very wooden about getting you into position and what happens to the bodies afterwards. The physics in this game are... Mm, they are. They, they exist. Let's put it that way. Alright. Slight annoying problem. You can't just... You can't drag bodies away, so if you take someone down in the open, it's possible for others to see them. Alright, so let's line up for a good shot there. Nice. <laughs> oh god, that's always fun. Just the second the body goes limp, suddenly it jitters out. I love when that happens. Alright, so we got two more guys down there. Even if you're not specking for pistols, it's actually not a bad idea to keep one on hand, just because tranquilizer, you know, the, the trank darts are effective and silent, and you are going to run into targets it is beneficial to, uh, spare. Now, alright, there's that guy there, depending on where he, the other one's looking. Oh, oh, oh. Back up, Mike. All right. There he is. Okay. Easy does it. And... Boink. Yeah, see? There's no real way to get him out of there, so... Down we go. Oop. Damn it! Damn it! Ah! Uh, in spite of this being an obvious tutorial section with tranquilizer pistols, failing that is treated as a death. Yeah, it's like the trank darts in Dishonored. If you aim for the head, they work instantly. I mean, the brain, the brain is the nerve center of the body. Darts that go into the brain will put them, will apply the tranquilizing juice faster. Not lethal. I do want to take these guys down for a specific reason, even though the exit is right over there. There he is. Just a second, working up one. Shit. I was trying to catch him by surprise, but I guess he beat me to the punch. Ha ha! Fun fact, whenever you hear that gong, that's sort of a signal that you are safe to move on. Either that all enemies have been disposed of, or that your next your objective has been met. Anyway, let us turn this alarm off. Yep, here we go. Uh, 
There we go. Now, is there anything in here I need to grab? No. All is calm again. All is tranquil, you might say. <laughs> now then. We have one more computery tutorial here. Hope you like magic eye pictures, because that's basically what this is. You need to match this code up with the lines here, and all the rest of them are moving. So you have to look for the sections of code that are static, and it helps if you can sort of unfocus your eyes, but if you struggle with those things, you're going to have a bad time with this. And of course, me with my Perception 1 build, obviously I'm going to be the absolute fucking best at this. And off we go. Did I mention you control them at the same time? Because that's fun. Alright. That is there. And that is there. Nice. Give it up. Are you saying I can't hack it? Ha <laughs> ha! Alright. Easy does it. Damn it. Oh, hey, guard, that sounds like your voice by Nolan North. There we go. Thank you, camera, for not giving me away. <laughs> nice. Got me some money. Uh-oh, uh our handler got cut off. I think we're about to see some stuff happen. Right, Mike, that's enough. That's enough? I think that's my line. What the hell's going on? Why did you drug me? We need to get the location of this facility confidential. Especially if you got kidnapped and questioned. They put that camera way too I close for that. government secrets. I believe you. <laughs> Everyone says that during the first hour of interrogation. So this is all part of the orientation? Yep. I'm gonna ask you some questions, run you through some more tests, then you and I can talk. Face to face. That make you feel better? I'm ready. What tests? Not a physical, if that's what you're thinking. No, I figured that was all done while I was unconscious. And then some. We ran your blood work, checked your vitals. You seem healthy. Just one thing we should check. Your psych profile. I've been reading and rereading your dossier. Says here you were the guinea pig of the division. A walking scientific survey of counter-terrorist devices. I tested several prototypes in the field, yes. The new iteration of shock traps was due to feedback I provided. So you're why the 1.2 is a piece of junk? No, sir. I'm why the 1.2 was cancelled. My report is the reason 1.3 went into production in April. Oh, God. Well, you and Dasha shouldn't have much time to spend together. He's sarcastic he's and he's a nerd. Down. Fantastic. If you gain more experience in the field, you may want to specialize further. But we can leave that until you've got some missions under your belt. That's it. Now I'm going to let you out of the pen here and meet the rest of the crew. Alright. Is there anything I should know? Nothing you can't find out on your own, and from the staff here. They'll be running you through the basics of weapons, gadgets, and espionage tactics. When you're cleared on the basics, come find me for your assignment. I won't lie to you, Mike. Oh god, it's we're getting close again. Dangerous, but I think you're the man for the job. Make the rounds. I'll see you soon. Like, can we talk for a minute about the practical utility of a wall entirely covered with monitors? I feel like even for some kind of situation room, that would be just a bit excessive. Like, you'd want them in some kind of central location, not necessarily covering an entire wall. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Anyway, we did level up, so we've got ourselves some more skill points to play with. I don't know. I think that was just the video uh, glitching out. Either that or those monitors really do not handle being up close that well. Or maybe he's evil all along. Ooh. I don't know. We could be working for the Sith. Who knows? But anyway, yes. That was whole thing was recruitment for the agency, which is Alpha Protocol. And let's see. Yeah, you know what? I'll get silent running. That's useful. And. Toughness, martial arts, resilience. 
Nah, we'll save up for pistols. We do want chain shot eventually. That's one of the things that basically Big breaks the difficulty screen. because it lets you simultaneously take out several people at once with pistol shots. Anyway, uh, on we go. No weapons past this point. Ah, oh, so we gotta give up our trank pistol. We'll get it back. Asshole Parker's gonna be checking the system. Alright. Try to remember. Here we go. Not a lot of side pass in this game. This section, we actually won't be back here for a while. This is kind of a little hub area for more training, but going forward... You probably want to change. Go on. Your gear's in the lockers. Yeah, like I said, going forward, most of the areas are pretty linear. Finally, we can customize Mike. This UI is a bit fiddly. Not a lot of hair options, either. You can, t you can tell they were working within a budget with this game, and they had some... They had some things available, but there were only so many things they could do. Oh. Go ahead, Ice. Yeah, y you could tell that they... I don't know how much this game was influenced by stuff like Mass Effect, but I, I get the feeling there were some things they had to include and just didn't have time to fully implement, or what. Our, now, here's the thing. In stark contrast to our hair options, our beard options are fantastic. I mean, look at this. We've got two different goatees. We've got a circle beard. We've got a five o'clock shadow. <laughs> we've got a soul patch. You can go full beard, lumberjack. Oh, man. I, I feel like every game that has beard options, the beard options are way more interesting than the hair options. <laughs> oh, hey, beggar. Thanks so much. I appreciate that. Oh, oh we're just uh, designing our secret agent man here. How's it going tonight? Ah, you know what? We'll give we'll give Mike a five o'clock shadow. Why not? He looks like a kind of guy that doesn't get much sleep. I can relate to that. Oh God, we do have to go with aviators though, or aviators. Why not? Actually, no. We'll go with the mirrored sunglasses, just so we really, really look like a douchebag. Oh man, you gotta go to the hospital. What's going on? Eh, why not? We'll go gray eyes. Why not? So yeah, not a lot of customization options. You can turn around and go back to Westridge right now. Although that might make him upset. <laughs> we'll fiddle around a little bit more when we get to our first hub in Saudi Arabia. Now nah, we can. You might want to take it a little easier when you escape next time. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Let's do a little more hacking here. Oh, man. Yeah, that, that's no fun. You have my sympathies. Hope it goes well. So anyway, yeah. In the field, occasionally you come across computers and such. This game initially gives the impression it's going to do like the Deus Ex thing, but this is the exception rather than the rule. You usually don't come across emails like this. But anyway, yeah. So this is them cordoning off the medical bay while they test us. Here's some information about Al Samad, who will be our first enemy of the game. Kind of your stand in for Al-Qaeda. You can definitely tell this game was made in 2010 just because it's very much dealing with the, the politics of the era. Alright. It's talking about the missile. Forensics team has completed survey of suspected firing location as predicted by triangulation modules models. Good news. Evidence, evidence of a ground launched missile would have had to would have had to have been a guided missile. No way an unguided rocket could have hit the airliner at that altitude. It has been confirmed by discarded set discarded Sabo in particular. I believe that's Sabo, or maybe Sabo. I keep forgetting. Anyway, both of which were fired when Flight 6133 was shot down. Bad news. The missile Sabo matches no known ground-to-air missile systems. None. There's no discernible markings, no telltale design marks. Sizing and, composition ma sizing and composition makes it a sure bet for a NATO-built weapon, but beyond that, we can't place it. It's almost certain this is some sort of new generation text. <laughs> Uh, that's the attitude to take. Get yourself some rum. Why not? You're a pirate. Alright, so this is about us. We have a new fish coming on board tomorrow. You'll refer to him as Michael Thornton. Mr. Thornton is most recently from DOJ's National Security Division. His dual PhDs in linguistics and computer science speaks ne nearly a dozen languages and is generally considered too intelligent for civil service. The director at the DOJ... Re 
The director at the DOJ recommended him for transfer on account of his physical aptitude and the fact that he was bored out of his mind hiding behind a desk all day. He made a mockery of all our pre-screening exams, so I'm looking forward to seeing what he'll add to our team. They'll be put through the opening ceremony tomorrow, complete with hostage scenario and oblig obligatory site games. Assuming all goes well, he'd be on our short list for Desert Spear. Now, they change this up considerably depending on who you pick, and they all have kind of, uh... That's alright, man. Yeah, do what you gotta do. And they, they all have kind of fun little hints on your background. Like, the one for... The one for the veterans, uh, specialization is, you know, we didn't recruit him. He found out... He found out about us somehow. We're revising our security protocols. In the meantime, we're hiring this guy. Alright. I've run the names you've sent me. This is, uh, some information about, uh... Let's see here. This is them trying to find out the leader of Al-Samad. Now, I've run the names you sent me and found 17 of the 18 to have merely circumstantial links. But there was one element of interest. Skip Baxter, the GOP lobbyist on the list. I found an interesting money trail on him. He collected re-election funds, funds from 16 different corporations. 87.5% were within federal elections limits. The remainder were beyond the 2300 limit in place at the time. And pooled them into the True Leadership PAC fund. However, a check for the exact amount of money Baxter put into the TL PAC fund went out to went out on a check number 1016 in memoed restoration the check was buried internally but i found the cash check in the records of a bank i found the cash check in the records of a bank in saudi arabia cashed by nigel winthrop while there are 193 nigel winthrop's in interpol's database the name is a known alias of shahid i'll inform west westridge so yeah we've got our nemesis who appears to have friends in congress exactly yeah we've got to read all the emails and this is a little bit of information about some of the people we'll be working with. Yeah, so this is between Mina Tang and Sean Darcy. We'll be dealing with them both. Really, I'm just not that interested. And the whole mention of grandkids is just a little bit creepy. Perhaps I can ask Westridge what he thinks of your constant attempts at team building. So yeah, this is uh, Darcy trying to flirt with Mina and getting a little bit creepy in the process. So that will be an element between these two characters as we proceed. Our war does not end here. This target is not the last. There's our, our guy. Our will and our resolve. Our Samad shall continue these attacks. Fight the aggression <laughs> of the West with its own weapons. Yeah, they based a lot of this game yes. on... For weapons, like I said, contemporary politics of 2010. Us. Solidly in the weapons war on terror. Weapons make a graveyard in the skies of our enemies. All this is proto ISIS, but these guys are basically your stand in Middle Eastern extremi extremists, funded by an oil shake. Now, I'm watching this for a very specific reason. I'll let this play out for just a minute here. I promise you, this attack is but the first that Al Samad brings against its enemies. So yeah, he's claiming responsibility for shooting down the airliner. But it was shot down with next generation tech, apparently sourced by a NATO country. Very interesting. So they are doing the smart th Deus Ex th thing of foreshadowing both your immediate threats and the deeper plot. And for the most part, they do this intelligently. It, it sort of spreads out a little bit as you go. All that you have seen this day is the answer to your brutal acts. Only language America understands. <laughs> yeah, it's a little I more grounded than Majestic 12. And this, I promise you, this attack is but the first that Al Samad brings against its enemies. Nice. So we got a perk for that. Now, you've been, probably been seeing that a lot as I go. You get perks for just about everything in this game. Every weird little tactic that you favor, if you speak, if you prefer a certain, uh, if you prefer a certain uh, conversation style or choice of weapon, if you knock out a lot of guys, if you avoid setting off alarms, if you set off alarms a lot, if you get shot a lot, there are little things about your character that change based on your behavior. In fact. So yeah, because we watched that, we got the perk News Conscious, and now when we go to Saudi Arabia, we get 5% off uh, buying from local vendors there. So we save some money that way. Excellent. And because we've been going with professional options, we actually get a bonus to Endurance. Now Endurance is... it acts like you're regenerating armor. So there's, you have your health pool, 
and Endurance is that Grey Meter up top, which is a combination of your armor and other perks that basically let you resist a portion of damage without having to heal yourself. Oh yeah, yeah, Chain Shot, like I said, breaks this game in half. We will be leveling that up as we go. Mikey, be with you in a moment. I'm just setting some things up here. I'm Sean Darcy. I'm going to be running you through tech orientation. Sounds good. So you've been with Alpha Protocol for a while? Sure have. Although you seem to have gotten my next assignment. No hard feelings, I hope. Are you kidding? All right, that should be the last of the set. Reputation will end. also be a thing, and Glad people respond favorably or unfavorably to different options. Here. Or we're too busy beating up some more guards. Neither. Just surveying the area, actually. Checking out the facility. Yeah, sure. Oh, by the way, not a good idea. Hitting the guards, I mean. The ones here have a lot of time on their hands. And that means a lot of time to hold grudges. I'll keep that in mind, but I wasn't expecting to be drugged and attacked. A good agent's ready for anything, Mikey. But enough chit-chat. We got a lot of work ahead of us. <laughs> well, you do. I'm mostly here as an observer. I'll Pistols are kind of good to have for any build, too. I find. What's that out there? Used car lot? A target range for you. For me, more like a shooting gallery. Head out the door there and we'll get started. All right, then. Like, there are some times you want to make a precision shot, and if you have inspected assault rifles, yourself. that's your only other option. All, and and having tranquilizer more. bullets is also helpful for a few reasons. So anyway, this is a grenade tutorial. All right, everyone's favorite. Grenades. Let's see that arm of yours. Go on, start chucking them. They're concussion rounds, so don't be skittish. They sting, not kill. Ah, uh, yes. Sending off an explosive device definitely doesn't hurt you, no matter what it is. Anyway... Real basic throwing art controls, nothing too fancy here. Alright, now how about something more challenging? Try a ricochet to hit the target behind the wall. Lob it behind the target and use the wall for a hook shot. Alright, so throw over here. And down he goes. Now, try and get one through the window. Now for some fireworks. Try and chuck one beneath the truck and take out the gas tank. Ah, never get tired of that one. So yeah, these now, concussion grenades, quote unquote, there, still manage to blow up a tank or a truck. Down. Can save you time in the field. All right. Uh, here we go. Oop. There we are. Menu's still a bit fiddly. Anyway, yeah, so this is telling us we can also use EMP grenades to short out door locks rather than hacking them. We're running a bypass. It's shut down. No more lock. And in we go. Alright, see that locker there? Well, let me guess. You want me to place one on the door? Alright, so this lets us set traps. Nice. And just in time. Hey, Darcy, open up. Guess some of the other guards will be pulling <laughs> double shifts for a while. All right. Now we set more traps. Beat up when you got out of medical? Yeah, well, they're going to be joining us in a second. You've got a head start, so if I were you, I'd set an ambush. Just start running. Me, I'd use the mines. That's what they're for. Just give me first shot at <laughs> ah, there's one more out there. Oh, hey, I break. Yeah, the doc's gonna be pissed. All right, all done. Head on up, Mike. I'll give you a breakdown on your performance. All right. I don't think we strictly need to turn the alarm off, but just so it's not squawking at us. Plus, I think you also get a perk for decide for disabling a whole bunch of them. Like I said, you get a perk for basically damn near everything else. Uh, right this way. Yeah, got a bit of a bit of a late start, but so Mikey, here we are. You're all right on the basic run. All right. You know that performance wasn't half bad. Almost as good as my record. 
about we up the stakes? Take this to the big leagues. What do you have in mind? All right, me and the guards, who you already met when you woke up, pooled our petty cash, and we'd like to make you a little bet. All right, I'm listening. It's a rematch, on our terms. It's simple. Disable all the alarms and escape the area in the time provided, and you take on the winnings. If you lose, you'll owe us. Surprisingly, no. Sounds good to me. As mentioned, I haven't run into a lot of crashes we'll without the it, protocol. Mikey. It's mostly right, just the general, team to get ready. the general wonkiness of the AI and other exploits so and are. overall lack of Rematch balance in the game you and the guards, that makes it interesting. Their terms. You know, so listen up. Interesting in quotes. All, over the course. all you need to do is shut them down, but the guards are going to try and reset them. Every time an alarm goes off, another squad's coming in, and they all want a shot at you, trust me. Alarm goes off enough times, and you're going to get trampled. But... You have the technology to beat him. So let's see even the odds. If you can. Alright. Uh, here we go. Shit. Alright, hold on a second. Oh, I didn't die yet. Hup. Hey, Robo, good to see you. Next thing. So I need to remember how this plays and be a little less scrub at it. But good to see you, Robo. How goes it tonight? Alright, disable the alarm. I think actually they don't let you fail this. Thought they might have you for a second. Guess I was wrong. Part of that was UI confusion, part of that was just me. Made a real mess of things. In a good way. That's all I need. But anyway, yeah, beating that little challenge gets some bonus money to start with. you say so, Mikey. Alright, on to the next training. Hello? Anybody shooting in here? Agent Thornton. Hello. Hey. Hey, you're the one I spoke to when I woke up in the medical bay. Hey, our handler. Glad that wasn't a hallucination. It may have been. Yep. Do you remember my name? Or do I need to write it down for you? Mina, right? That's right. <laughs> Good to see you've recovered from the medical room. The yeah, Marian Darcy's a bit of a prick. Memory intact? Speaking of which, I don't Sometimes know entertaining, but uh, my passport. even if you're on good terms with him, the relationship between you that. two will be prickly, to, to put it mildly. I'm here to run you through the weapons training and test your accuracy. Made us fun. I like All right. Her. What's the next step? Just head through the door to the firing range, and I'll keep in contact with you over the earpiece. Head over to the table, get your weapons, and we can begin. One thing the writing does well is the standard the field agent package includes a overall pistol, SMG, the shotgun, and assault rifle. The differences in tone Each between Mike's reactions and, and how people react to the differences Let's in tone between pistol. Mike's options and how people react to them. Like you saw there, she reacts. You saw there, you're back there with Darcy. He reacts, did well to sort of a casual tone. Westridge and Mina are more, more professionals. They do a good job with the consistency of character development and what they react to favorably and unfavorably. Anyway, now we're going to get a chance to test out the different weapons. Equip the pistol, then aim down range and take some shots at the target. Doink. Good aim. Now, steady your aim for a few seconds, then fire. Precision shots can take down a target quickly. Oh yeah, we're oh, seeing some texture shenanigans back there. <laughs> oh man. Almost. Now, let's move on to the submachine gun. Now, instead of using a submachine gun like a normal person, like your enemies do... Now let's empty the clip. Let you get a feel for the recoil. We do wield these things. Now take cover. 
God. You Still just... using cover. Take some shots at the target. Accuracy's terrible while firing blind, <laughs> but it can get the job done eventually. Now try popping out and focusing your aim. You can use cover to your advantage here. God, it's jank. It, it, it's fiddly as hell trying to use these things properly, but there are builds that can make things viable. What they do is get a damage bonus the based the on the enemies you take right. down. Let's see how you do against some moving targets. So if you get into it, so if you get into a you know a situation where you got a killing spree going, you d you can definitely start doing some real damage with these things. But they go through ammo fast, and it takes a lot of specialization to make use of them. Oh. Now, with the pistol, you'll want to be patient. Now this is actually part of the challenge itself. This is stuff we're graded on. So we want to be a bit more careful. Damn it. Good. <laughs> I know, it's... It's so... It's so over the top, I kind of love it. The shotgun charge doesn't gain accuracy, but it can knock people down. Which basically gives you stopping power, unlike all the other weapons. Amusingly, this actually makes it a decent non-lethal weapon, because you can knock enemies down without killing them. You know, assuming the shotgun killed them, and then just foot stomp them to take them out. Now for your submachine guns. If you're trapped in close quarters with multiple opponents, the SMGs can help clear the room quickly. Yeah, damage multiplier for consecutive quiet, hits. But... Oh yeah. Alright, is this open? Oh right, I think I have vaulted. Oh, nope. This guy's there. And that's enough. Long range encounters. Now the assault, assault rifle. rifle the a it's slightly accurate. more sane Powerful. weapon. Just be sure to line up your shots carefully. Mr. Shotty does come in handy. Watch for attackers from above. They may be out of reach, but not rifle range. That's it. Take the ladder, head up and back. All done. Yeah, the rifle's the only other weapon you can do precision attacks with, and it takes a while to line up a good shot. But it's a good all-rounder if you don't want to just basically... If you don't want to use a pistol build, if you think if you think it's dishonorable to rely on chain shot for bosses, then the rifle is a slightly more fair alternative. <laughs> good, Mike. I'm logging the results now. Alright. Is somebody out on the course? Darcy. He's trying to beat your time. Uh-huh. Well, how's he doing? Not well. He's... distracted. Why? As soon as he knew you were talking to me, Mike, he was in here in a second. So yeah, remember that email we saw? My affections. This is... It's like friction. a cage match with you boys. So how'd I do on the course? Calling it up now. Alright, so, not great. The misses sort of detract from our score. I might do it one more time, just It'll to do. see if we can do better. Satisfactory enough for Westridge, I think. You can give it another run if you want. We have to hit over 100 points, free. and then she'll give us a bonus objective, which has a I little bit of a... Score. No problem. A little bit of a fun okay, extra challenge go. to it. If you do better on this run, your new score will overwrite the previous one. I've unlocked the door to the tactical range on your right. All right, now we can start the time portion of the course right away. Yeah. Accuracy is more important than s speed in this. One annoying thing, you can't zero the shots when you're not aiming at an enemy. So holding it, holding it out like this doesn't steady your shots. You have to be specifically pointing it at a target. See if we can get a two for one. Nice. Yeah, the assault rifle can actually tighten its reticule without having to have a target. The pistol does not. 
Nice little bonus. If you let it tighten all the way, all three shots go on target. You don't have to worry about recoil between rounds. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just played uh, Project Wingman for a couple streams. That looked decent. Kind of off-brand uh, off ace combat. Good, Mike. I'm logging the results now. Yeah, I do want right. to. I do want to give an Ace Combat game a proper try at some point. There we go, much better. That's one of the most impressive scores I've seen. Boo yeah. In mind, you did so well. I'm wondering if you'd be up for something more challenging, a bonus round. This course is Ladies like the man that get the most points. Down for that jackass. I could walk the rest of the way. Jackass. Now I'm hurting. So will Darcy. <laughs> did I mention we don't use live rounds? They still sting, though. I'm listening. Yes, Go yes, in. indeed. Hey, Fortune, good to see you. See where it counts. That'd be worth a recommendation in my report, and worth some rep with Westridge. Yes. And it'd be earned. Sure, sounds good. Any preference on weapon? These targets are pretty easy for someone to hit. Yeah, Mina's got a lot going on. She'll be with us for the majority of the game. Give me the gun. So yeah, for bonus. I forget what we get out of this. I think bonus experience or money or something. All we have to do is go back onto the course and shoot Darcy while he's running around. Which, you know, I'd do that for free. Just wait for him to show up. And down he goes. All right, you're all done. Head on back. <laughs> well, you know. All right. She wanted me to give him a tap on the head. Here. Well done. Why not? Critical hit. I don't think I have to worry about Darcy coming by again. Anything else <laughs> I can do? No, Agent Thornton. Mission accomplished. Nice. So all we had to do was shoot a stalker Western creep, yet? and we get affection with her. Nice. After all the training is done, you've certainly aced this exercise. Oh yeah, it does sound cool. Lost me at a point where divergence from Macy in a good way. Mission complete. Get a certain line of getting nuked. Oh, that does sound interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were talking about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting a track dart directly into a man's brain. Like I said, it dishonored all over again. This is a restricted area. The vending machines are down the hall and to the right. I'm here for espionage training. Westridge's new recruit. Good. There's no time to waste. Now Parker's very so, no-nonsense. Orientation. You are familiar with the premise of an obstacle course, I assume? Yes. Excellent. And I don't need to explain. Up the ladder is the training area. Odd little quirk with these faces. For the most part, I think they're decently modeled. Following that, you'll be facing live but occasionally they'll make the exact same smirk in the exact same you know way. You'll see it on certain... Yes. You'll see I it pop up from time to time. It's You can tell they're sort of li way. working with a limited moveset. It secures the entrance. If you're as capable as Westridge says... Then you should have no trouble hacking it and gaining access to the Yeah, course. there's a lot of there's a lot of big name VA that shows up throughout the game. <laughs> uh right. So yeah, this is our, Hack the door in front of you to gain access. This is our stealth tutorial. Oop. So he does it and got it. Always check your surroundings for cameras. I can't have you appearing on the nightly news. Mind the gap. The key to stealth is timing. Pay attention to camera movements, then exploit their blind spots. <laughs> Alright. This might make you think there's some parkour in this game and free movement, but you basically can't jump or do anything where an area is not marked. So if there's no glowing icon, even if it looks like you can jump down, you can't. Which is a bit obnoxious. Shit. 
Sorry, Nolan North, not this time. Yeah, that was a that was a noticeable problem. That the oh shit. Taking in the view. Yeah, well, I doubt the view is what's making you hesitate. Is that the mouse sensitivity in basic gameplay is different from the mini games, so your cursor can kind of slide all over the place if you're not prepared for it. And honestly, no matter how you set it, camera controls are a little bit funky. Your score is like, aiming is fine. Damage. It feels like you turn now. slower than you aim. Anyway, in spite of getting detected twice, we still ate, more or less ate the course, and now we get his bonus objective. 